This is Jim Smith of Golden Real Estate. Welcome to the Baker Historic District in Denver. A very popular 19th century neighborhood now designated as the Historic District. And this is Chuck Brown's newest listing at 169 West Maples. It's a beautiful Victorian one and a half story home on a 3,000 square foot lot. So it's a small lot but it's big on charm and character. Let's go inside and take a look at it. Before we go in, let's pause for a moment on this covered south-facing porch. Get a feel for what it's like. It's a quiet street, as you can tell, and plenty of guest parking on the street in addition to the one-car garage facing the alley. Let's go inside now. Here we are inside, and here's the door. Here's a first floor bedroom. It's a small bedroom, more suitable perhaps as a study. It does have this large closet here. It's almost a walk-in in size. And these are pined floors. And notice, that, just a little detail here. Notice this rope design of the molding around the window here and the fact that it's curved. And notice the old light fixture in the cove ceiling. As I said, this is a historic district. And the windows are, are original, I believe. Here's the dining room. Another neat chandelier. Here's the kitchen, of course. Lots of storage here. Exposed brick. Tile walls over here, ceiling fan, has all the appliances you'd expect. There's a, a dishwasher and a stove, and there's a garbage disposal, and there's the refrigerator. And notice again the, the nice detail, the molding up by the ceiling. These wood trims are really classic. Now back here, this used to be a porch, but now it's a sunroom. Has this interesting basket weave brick floor. Never seen anything like that in this hardwood countertop. All this, and look at the, the, the windows here. Really nice design. This is their laundry room. By the way, although the washer and dryer are not included, all the other appliances are. There's a trap door for accessing the crawl space where the furnace is. And this is a doggy door that, that has this nice lock on it so you can lock it to let keep other animals or intruders from coming in. Let's go outside here. This wood deck. There's the other side of the doggy door. Nice deck for putting a table on. This, here's the detached garage. Let's go look at it. A little raised bed for gardening. And here's the, a uh, gate to the alley, which you can see here. Classic Denver alley. This is a brick structure, like the house itself, with a wood floor. And it used to have a door at each end but they took that opening for that door and made this little bump out with all this glass. For, there are windows that have been sealed up, however, with siding. And there's the door to the alley. Look at the old brick structure of this place. Oh, and, and this is the this is the uh, main electrical, or the, this is where the service comes in, and this is a 240 volt outlet, and there are, and this is really retired, this system, except that that's the main breaker that goes to the other, the main electrical panel that I'll show you, and these are the breakers for the lights and outlets and this 240. So that's the garage. Let's go back to the house now. and. Before I take you upstairs, I'll just show you the, the main electrical panel which has been replaced. 
So it does have new electrical service here. Outlets here, that's a light switch for the exterior lighting. This is the new electrical panel. And here's the gate, the side yard, or pathway I should call it. So now let's go upstairs and look at the two bedrooms that are upstairs. Before we go upstairs, however, I forgot to show you this. This is the main floor bathroom, which is a full bath with a clawfoot tub, glass brick window, newer toilet, and pedestal sink. Now let's go upstairs. Pausing on the landing, here's a little, little storage, no spaces left to waste in this house. And up here again, pine flooring. And here is one bedroom at the back. By the way, the home does have central air conditioning in addition to these fans. And here, these doors slide sideways, you don't pull on them. This is a closet space which goes the full length of the room from there all the way down to the end. So it's the full width of this room is closet space. Here is the bathroom which is shared with the front room. It's a three-quarter bath with a nice tiled shower and again glass brick, wainscoting, beveled mirror, nice vanity. Here's the second bedroom. Same idea here with a closet with sliding doors. This one has a second closet on this side. So storage and closet space is not a problem here. So that's the upstairs. We've finished. Let's go out front and wrap it out. Thanks for touring Chuck's new listing with me today. If you'd like to see it in person, I know he would be delighted to show it to you. You can reach him anytime on his cell phone at 303-885-7855 or email him at chuck at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.